over the period of time that I've been doing gastroenterology, I've seen certain diseases kind of explode and reflux has become so rampant and the complications from reflux disease, including cancer. A lot of people aren't aware that acid reflux can give you esophageal cancer. It's actually one of the most rapidly rising cancers in the country here in the last 50 years. What I tell my patients is reflux can wear many hats. It can be very difficult. It's a lot easier if you're having heartburn and reflux and you're regurgitating and then you know that irritation on the back of your vocal cords. It's easy to connect the dots, but there's many people who lack the hallmark symptoms of reflux and whose sole manifestation is that of a what we call supraesophageal or atypical manifestation and has just isolated chronic hoarseness, chronic cough, asthma, sleep apnea even. What is the cure for reflux? There's no cure. We have good treatments and the medicine treatments we have are very effective and very safe despite what you might hear on TV. That class, those types of medicine have been used for many decades and in the end very, very little to any side effects or complications from using the medicines. Surgery is an alternative um, uh, for a small percentage of people and that itself is not a cure either. And that, that's the biggest surprise to people because they feel like, you know, if I have surgery, it's fixed. But surgery only lasts for a certain period of time most of the time. Surprisingly, many times when people have reflux, they have a normal upper endoscopy. Um, that really confuses people. When I perform an upper endoscopy and they have terrible heartburn and I look down and I show them pictures of a normal esophagus, they, their first reaction is, so I don't have reflux? And I have to explain to them that the majority of people with acid reflux simply don't have damage. That doesn't mean they don't have reflux. It means they don't have any damage from the reflux. And only a small percentage of people with reflux will actually have damage to the esophagus. And that's important to know because that helps us to know how to treat that person properly. And also because that person could have complications that are potentially serious like precancerous changes or even cancer. When do you come to the doctor if you have acid reflux? If you have infrequent symptoms, probably less than two to three times a week, and you can just take some over-the-counter medicines and get quick relief. You, you may not have to come to a specialist. You can go to your primary care doctor if you need something stronger than something over-the-counter. But if it's becoming frequent, more than three times a week, and that usually is what we use to signify that you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, not just occasional heartburn, then it's probably a good idea to be seen by either your primary care physician or definitely consider coming to a gastroenterologist.